gentlemen, hello and welcome along to another instalment of our tyre testing series supported by Continental. If you've not seen our main intro piece, uh, which explains pretty much what we are doing in this little series of uh, tyre tests, go check that one out. But essentially what we are trying to do really is just learn all about and find out all about the capabilities of this latest VF uh, tyre technology. Not least just the tyres, but we've also got some very clever tyre sensing technology inside each tyre, which relays its data back to the continental screen in the cab, which tells me precisely what pressures are in each uh, in each tyre to within half a PSI. Uh, and I, it also tells me the tyre temperature uh, on that screen as well. So I can really keep an eye on and monitor what's going on in my tyres. So for this tyre testing series, what we want to do to find out more about this, uh, this latest uh, VF tyre technologies, try them out doing lots of different jobs, lots of different applications. So we'll be doing some throughout the series, we've done some... Uh, grassland applications, we've done some transport applications and we're going to do some tillage applications uh, of which we are doing one of those today. So we are, as you can probably tell, we are off out ploughing today. So this one, this should be a real good one for uh, testing these tyres out. As ever, massive thank you to Clark & Pullman, our local machinery dealer, for sorting us out with this uh, Fent 828 Vario tractor, which is fitted with the manufacturer's uh, Vario Grip Central Tire Inflation System, which has been key to all our tire tests in this series because it allows me to basically just get the best out of the tires and uh, experiment a little bit as well because it allows me to increase or decrease the tire pressures depending on what job we are actually doing. So it's been fascinating to find out so far more about these tyres and the technology and the sensing technology. Also, a huge thank you to Clark and Pullman's sister company, uh, Garstang Tire Services, for actually fitting these tyres to this tractor because it was a hell of a hot day when they did it and they, well, fair to say, they were sweating a bit. So massive thank you to those guys for sorting out uh, this tractor with those tyres. So on with this test then. Like I say, we're off ploughing today, which I've been looking forward. I've been really looking forward to this element of the tyre test and doing this job with these tyres because I think it'll really highlight and already what I found out so far this morning, it is really highlighting what these tyres are capable, capable of, particularly in combination with the, the Vario Grip central tyre inflation system. So as we do with all the jobs that we've been doing with this tractor and tyre, we like to weigh up the situation a bit, sort of try and work out what we're dealing with and then from that we can work out what are the best tyre pressures to uh, to go with, to work with. So in terms of conditions today, obviously we're out in field, we are doing some ploughing uh, we're in some maize stubble, so we've got plenty of stubble to contend with. Uh, a bit of trash on the surface, uh, a few weeds as well, just to, just for good measure, and a little bit of uh, that plastic that uh, some maize crops are grown under these days. So plenty on the surface to contend with. The soil is, it has been raining, so the soil is damp, it's very sticky on the surface, so that should be a good test of these tyres to get the, the power down and get the traction, maintain the traction, I should say. So that's the field conditions that we're faced with. And obviously we've got to get the plow here. So massive thank you to uh, Malpas Tractors for lending us this uh, Coon plow. We've also got another video on that as well. So go check that one out. So we've got this uh, this Coon 6 4 uh, reversible on land plow behind us. So on land, obviously, I mean, if you guys know, Basically what that means is we're not dropping any tyres or wheels into a furrow and creating what you can where you can get a plough pan due to the compaction. So we're staying on the top, we are keeping all four wheels on the top as we plough along. So effectively any compaction that we make, the plough is taken out straight away, which is a, always a good thing. Obviously there's been a bit of road work involved because we've got to get the plough to the field. So. 
in terms of my priorities for today, in terms of tyre setup, uh, as for the, the, the pressures, now the road work element, pretty darn simple really, we just want the tyres fairly hard uh, to be safe and to be stable, very simple. Uh, keep that uh, the rolling resistance nice and low so we're not burning excessive fuel and we're also uh, by keeping the uh, the tire pressures up on the road we've got a nice sort of solid uh, sidewall and that means we're not uh, building up any unnecessary heat but in the field we want complete opposite really uh, especially for tillage work because end of the day we want to look after this soil as much as we can so in the field then it's all about dropping the pressures out of the tyres, getting a nice big long footprint to spread the weight of the tractor, spread the load of the machine uh, and ultimately uh, for you know a heavy draft application such as this we want lots of grip, we want lots of traction so that's what we are aiming for but ultimately we also want to still have a nice bit of stability in the field particularly at the headlands when we are lifting the plough up and turning round and also on some of these slopes as well we don't want to be rocking and rolling about so we still need a nice bit of stability uh, in the tyres nice just a nice just enough bit of pressure just to keep that stability uh, and the you know the whole outfit nice and safe really so how have we arrived at the tyre pressures that we are using today? Well, if I just pull over here and just pull up for a second, I shall get out my uh, trusty Continental tyre app that I've been using throughout this series, which obviously goes with these tyres. So if we just find that. Now for this job, I've actually been to the Weybridge as well. And that allowed me to weigh the whole outfit as a whole and then I could weigh my back axle and my front axle so I know precisely what I'm dealing with. And what I'm dealing with is I've got a total weight of about 16 tonnes, I've got a rear axle load of 13 tonnes and my front axle load when you take into account a little bit of weight transfer uh, that is three and a half tonnes so we've got some hefty weights to be dealing with. Uh, which obviously need carrying in the field. So, right, I've got my trusty app. Hopefully, you can see on here. So, if we go into a new tyre calculation, uh, what we can do for this one, we can go into the advanced setting, which takes into account mounted implements, both front and rear. Now, you can put in a tractor name and model and things like that, and you can put in a calculation name, such as this. So, we'll put in plough. So that is done. And then we select our front tyres. 